over time the player will uh, run faster and faster so we're gonna make this player running movement in Unreal runner game of player okay so let's get into this if we select the sprite and hit this as sprite editor okay as you can see there are multiple sprites so what we're gonna do we're gonna cut off individually so we need to select sprite mode to multiple and we're gonna select pixel per unit is something like 16 and we're gonna go over to while filter mode and we're gonna choose point no filter because as you can see uh, the sprites looking bloody so that's why we're gonna select point no filter and after doing that hit apply okay after doing that hit play, apply and we're gonna select the first one and we're gonna drag it into this in view okay i'm gonna select the game view once again as you can see so what we're gonna do we're gonna add two components to this game object before that we're gonna rename this game object to something like player okay player and now firstly we're gonna add the rigid body one so hit this add component and we're gonna add rigid body 2d and we're gonna go over to rigid body 2d and then we're gonna set this gravity scale to something like three so we can we increasing the gravity okay by three and we're gonna choose collision detection to continue so it will continuously detect the collision okay accurately and then we're gonna go over to constraint and we're gonna freeze the rotation z axis if you don't freeze that it will rotate like this if we go to transform then rotation and uh, about z axis as you can see it will rotate like this so what we're gonna do we're gonna set back to zero and we're gonna choose uh, choose constraint and we're gonna uh, freeze the rotation about z axis okay and we're gonna add another component for collision detection okay so hit this add component and find over there box collider 2d box collider 2d and added the collider as the size of the sprite okay so hit this added collider and we're gonna uh, added the collider as the size of a sprite okay to match up the size uh, as you can see now it's fine okay uh, so uh, so we what we're gonna do we're gonna add a ground for now okay so go to hierarchy one second right click on it go to 2d object then a sprite then uh, we're gonna choose this square arm and we'll select the move tool and, and we're gonna drag it some down over here something like that and we're gonna scale the x okay scale the x something like 20 go to transform first then a scale okay we're, and we're gonna move it down little bits and we're gonna add a box collider to this uh, game object okay or else the uh, the player game object will surpass okay so that's why we need to add box collider 2d as well to this game object for collision detection and firstly we're gonna rename this two square to something like ground for now and we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna add box collider so hit this add component and find their box collider okay box collider 2d and enter now it's fine now if we play the game okay the game the player will fall down to this ground okay due to gravity and it will land on ground because we have added box collider to this booth com a game object so make sure that okay you have added collider to both of this so as you can see now it's fall down okay to this ground so what we're gonna do we're gonna make the running animation first okay so before that go to assets okay right click on it create folder name that folder to something like animation animation and hit enter to keep thing organized uh, that's why we making uh, folders okay so select this folder and uh, go, uh, we need the animation tab so if you can find the animation tab you just have to go to window okay uh, window then uh, animation or control 6 as well as the animator tab so i'm gonna drag this animation tape over here something like that and select that player okay select that player and hit this create button and uh, we we're gonna go to assets we have created this animation folder as you can see so we're gonna go over to that and we're gonna create a subfolders okay so right click on it new folder and we're gonna name this folder to something like player underscore animation to keep things organized and hit enter and we're gonna uh, open up the subfolder by double click on it and we're gonna rename the rename this animation to something like player underscore okay underscore run something like that and hit save and what we're gonna do we uh, we need to drag all of the sprites into animation tab before that we have to hit this record button to record the animation okay hit this record button and we're gonna drag all of the running sprite into animation tab select all of them by holding down shift and drag it into animation tab and if we now play as you can see it's pretty pure so what we're gonna do we're gonna make spaces between these sprites so select like this and move it something like 30 something like that okay 
and if we now hit play as you can see now it's pretty pretty fine now hit this record button once again to capture the animation we have captured that animation so i'm going to drag this animation tab over down once again and what we're gonna do if we now hit play okay it will play the running animation okay and it will fall down due to gravity on the ground so we need to uh, we need to make the movement so we have to create the script first okay so as you can see it's fall down and it's playing the running animation by default if we go to animator tab as you can see player underscore run animation is playing over and over again because it's looping so what are we gonna do we're gonna make the movement so go to project once again okay i go to assets right click on it create folder name that folder to something like script and go to script folder okay right click on it create c sharp script something and call it something like player okay and select the player game object and drag that player script to add component section of player game object okay and double click that to open up in visual studio as you can see okay if we go to unity editor once again and if we select the player and if we go to transform then position and if we play around with the exposition as you can see the player will move left and right okay so we're gonna move it in the right direction okay we're gonna move it in the right direction so what we're gonna do we need to go to transform first so we're gonna go over to update function and as you know update function get call every single frame so that's why we're going to use that we need to add uh, the speed every single frame so that's why so we're gonna uh, use this update function firstly what we're gonna do we're gonna go to transform of that uh, uh, game object okay as you seen in the unity editor and then we're gonna use this function okay translate function as uh, this function will take the direction in which direction you want to go as you can see we're gonna go to right direction so what we need we need to use the uh, ve vector 2 dot right okay uh, vector 2 so we're gonna use this vector 2 dot right basically means uh, vector 2 dot right basically means x in the 1 y in the 0 so the so the player game object will not uh, move in the y direction it will go in the right direction only okay so vector 2 dot right basically means x in the 1 and y in the 0 okay so it will go to right direction and what we're gonna do we're gonna multiply this is uh, 1 with our uh, some uh, some speed okay okay uh, some speed something like point uh, so we're gonna you have to use a star for, okay for the multiplication and we're gonna multiply with this uh, something like 5 f uh, f basically means for float okay uh, so instead of hard coding this what we're gonna do we're gonna make a variable okay uh, so we're gonna go to, go to top of the class and we're gonna make it public so we can say in the inspector that will be float like decimal places like 0 0.5 1 1.5 something like that and we have to name the variable and we're gonna call it something like speed and by uh, and by default you can set any value you like something like i'm going to set it 5f and close that off with semicolon and we made it public so we can adjust in the inspector as well so we're gonna replace this 5f do with this as speed okay and as you know this is speed is 5 uh, by default but we can set in inspector so that's why we made it public okay and uh, we what we're gonna do we're gonna multiply this with our speed uh, sorry multiply with our time dot delta time okay time dot delta time uh, to make frame rate independence and close that off with semicolon okay and control s on your keyboard to save this so firstly what we're we going we're going to transform of the game object okay player game object whatever this is script setting on and as you know this is script setting on our player game object so the transform over here means the player or transform okay and we are using this translate function and as you know this function will take the direction so we are using factor 2 dot right basically this means one in the x okay one in the x y in the zero so so we are multiplying that with our speed uh, by default we set speed uh, five unit as you can see so five x uh, five five in the uh, x direction okay because x axis as you can see one so as you can see vector two dot uh, dot right basically means x in the one y in the zero so uh, so it will like this new vector two it like this okay new vector two 
vector to 1 f a 1 f in the x 0 f in the y as you can see this is the same as vector 2 dot right okay so if we multiply this with our speed so this one will be 5 f so 5 f will be in the x axis as you can see vector 2 has x axis and y axis compo axis as you know okay so control as on your keyboard to save this and head again to unity that is the same as vector 2 dot right okay so uh, so we can uh, see the uh, speed variable over here in the player script because we made it public and we can adjust in the inspector it's up to you okay uh, how much fast should uh, you want to go so just wait for to compile and you will able to see that okay so just wait for to compile and uh, if we select the uh, if we select the uh, uh, player and if we move it something over here and if we hit play as you can see speed by default we set 5 but you can adjust over here so that's why we made it public so in every frame, uh, frame it will go in the right direction because we are doing an update function okay so as you can see the player is going in the right direction as you can see so it's uh, some uh, sometime it's just getting fall down due to we don't have the ground enough so what we're gonna do we're gonna scale the ground something like a uh, hundred okay hundred something like that and what we're gonna do uh, we, uh, in over time we're gonna increase this speed okay so we're gonna add acceleration to this speed so we, what we're gonna do we're gonna make another variable okay and another variable and we're gonna make it public so we can set an inspector that will be float and as you know float basically means decimal places and uh, you can call it something like acceleration uh, acceleration something like that and by default i am going to set it to something like uh, 1.2 f 1.2 f okay and close that off with semicolon but you can adjust in the inspector so that's why we made it public so what we're gonna do we're gonna go over to update function and uh, before we uh, moving the character okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna add to our speed plus equal so we have to use this His speed as you know speed is 5 so what we're gonna do we're gonna the, uh, we're gonna add the acceleration okay acceleration as you know over here as you can see 1.2 so we just adding to our uh, speed every single frame 1.2 but we can adjust in the inspector so that's why we made it public and what we're gonna do we're gonna multiply this one to time dot delta time to make frame rate independence okay time dot delta time and control as on your keyboard to save this and head again to unity so you will able to see in the speed parameter we adding every single frame 1.2 unit okay by default we set but you can adjust over here so that's why we made it public so every single frame we adding something like 1.2 f so if we hit play the speed will increase over time okay every single frame because we're doing it update function okay uh, if we now hit play the speed will uh, increase by 1.2 uh, f by every single frame okay because we're doing it update function so the speed will uh, increase okay by this much of acceleration as you can see speed as is increasing by uh, 1.2 acceleration as you can see so speed become 15 uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna choose a lower num uh, lower number to this acceleration so the speed will be seamlessly increasing okay so we're gonna choose something like a 0.1 okay 0.1 something like that and if we hit play okay if we hit play the speed will increase uh, with acceleration of 0.1 as you can see okay i hope you get the idea basics of it okay so now if we hit play as you can see the speed uh, the speed is increasing by slowly as you can see 5.4 okay so it over time the speed will increase okay so i hope you get the basics idea of player movement in endless runner 2d game okay so for this night for this now uh, for this now okay so i am i am going to see you in the next tutorial okay so goodbye for now